This is a bunch of card sleeves, and today we're gonna take as many of them as we can, sleeve a deck with as many as we can, go to a tournament, and get deck checked. After the professor released his video on triple sleeving using dragon shield sleeves, I wondered, how many sleeves could you put onto a card? So I started doing some research and what I found surprised me. Not many people have ever put four sleeves onto one card, much less more than four sleeves. So I decided that I would be the first person on YouTube to chronicle my journey putting five, maybe even six, card sleeves onto a deck. Before that though, I had to figure out what sleeves I could use. To pull this off, I started in the best place you possibly could, and it's the same place the professor started, and that's with Dragon Shield. So I typed up a quick email to Dragon Shield and I told them my plan. Luckily, they loved it and sent me out everything I would need for the first three layers of this journey. And while this video isn't sponsored by Dragon Shield yet, come on Dragon Shield, you know you want to. I just I want to say thank you so much to Dragon Shield for sending these out. It made everything so much easier. So with this, I've got Dragon Shield Perfect Fits, I have Dragon Shield Clear Sleeves, and I have Dragon Shield Outer Sleeves, and that's the tricky one right there. So huge shout out to Dragon Shield for these bad boys. So now I know I have those. Unfortunately, this is where things get a little bit dicey. My next thought after triple sleeving was simply to bust out a good old top loader. Pop a card in there, boom, four sleeves done. Unfortunately, these normal top loaders don't really fit triple sleeved cards as well, but that's okay because I went to a sports card shop and I bought these thick top loaders. Mmm, oh yeah. Look how perfectly that fits in any way. For sleeve number five, I figured I could finish things off with the classic move of the team bag around it all. That way we have three sleeves, one top loader, and a team bag to round it off. And there you have it, a quintuple sleeved card in all its glory. Wait, what? Hold on. What's that? That's not satisfying? That's, that's cheating? Is what you're saying to me? That's cheating? A top loader isn't a card sleeve? This is a waste of time? Well, yeah, that's what I thought after I asked my YouTube community in a poll if top loaders are card sleeves, and 67% of you said no. Sidebar, huge shout out to the 20% of you that said, why are you asking? Ah, I see you over there. You're smart. You knew I was cooking up something. You had an idea. You're learning, I like that. Anyway, after that poll, I knew that this wouldn't work. So this was just a waste of money, a waste of time, a waste of gas money in this economy, horrible. I was defeated. How would I go on, I thought. Those thoughts fluttered around my head. And then I grabbed them and I threw those thoughts in the trash and I got to work. So I needed real sleeves? Fine. I'll find those on the internet. You can find anything on the internet. Heck, this'll probably be easier than driving to buy these. So two weeks later, I finally found the card sleeves that would actually function and I was hyped. I found some sports card sleeves off of Amazon. Sleeve number four, done. I found some really obscure board game sleeves that were giant size that would work perfectly. Another sleeve, done. And then... I stumbled upon them. These sleeves brought it all together. And with these, we could pull off the dream of a six-sleeved deck. With all the sleeves in hand, I finally finished my prototype, and it was beautiful. My only concern was the space created by layer five and layer six. But that was easily fixed. All I needed to do was precisely cut both sleeves on my cutting board. Yes, I have this, I'm a teacher, move on. And it was perfection. A six sleeved deck was on the horizon. And just in time too, because the next day I had to fly to Chicago for the Chicago Flesh and Blood Battle Hardened Tournament. So to put this all together, all I needed to do was cut the sleeves five and six into the shape, load everything up and hop on the plane. I had the deck, a Flesh and Blood TCG Blitz deck of 40 cards that I actually played on the Professor's Flesh and Blood episode of Shuffle Up and Play, a fantastic gameplay show featuring fun, engaging, casual multiplayer action, and all I needed was time. So I ran out of time the next morning. I managed to cut all of the sleeves that I would need for sleeve five of the deck, but I didn't get layer six, and it looked weird. 
but with no time left, I headed to the airport, hopped on my plane, grabbed a window seat because that's what you do in life, and landed in Chicago. I got to my hotel, and I asked my friend Matt if he would help me assemble this monstrosity in time to show the judge tomorrow. Yes. That entire thing. Can you help me do that yeah, to an no entire problem. deck? Can I look at it? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, yeah. We have to put six sleeves on every card in an entire Blitz deck because this oh, is maximum my. protection. What, what is this, a Trojan ad? <laughs> I, I was wondering why this was um, like protected better than the Declaration of Independence. <laughs> is, the, is. is there a map to treasure behind you? So with Matt's help, we began to assemble the deck. Starting, of course, with layer one, Dragon Shield Perfect Fits. And this is what it looks like, single sleeved with Perfect Fits. Moving on from there, we introduced normal old Dragon Shield sleeves. Everything thus far is pretty straightforward. If you've ever seen a double sleeved 40 card deck, this is nothing that you wouldn't have seen before. Finally, on to the triple sleeves, and I've gotta say, these are some of my favorite feeling sleeves I've ever experienced, and I've been through just about every Dragon Shield make and model of sleeve on the market today. So here's a triple sleeved 40 card blitz deck and it's already starting to look a little bit massive. And I feel like this is a great time to mention, yes, we could do this with a Yu-Gi-Oh deck and we could probably fit one extra sleeve on here. So if you'd like to see me do that and go through this entire process again with a Yu-Gi-Oh deck, leave a comment down below and hit the like button. Now we move on to the weird sleeves. The next sleeve that actually fits over this correctly is called the Invested Alliance 180 point card sleeves. These are really meant for thicker baseball cards and cards that include like pieces of jersey, but they actually fit by measurement incredibly well over the triple sleeve from Dragon Shield. They are thin, however, so as we look at the four sleeve or quad sleeved deck, you're not going to notice too much of a difference. You will, however, notice a difference when we add the fifth sleeve. These are called Swan Sleeves and they are produced by Panasia Games and I lost my mind when I found these. I bought these off of Potomac Distribution, which has a bunch of really random and sometimes really useful things. They are thick sleeves, they feel very heavy and protective, and you can see that as we put the fifth sleeve on. And finally, it was time for me to tell Flake that I done messed up. Didn't have time to cut the last set of sleeves, and they stick up a very large amount if you don't do that. But I had an idea. I crossed my fingers, and I hoped that the downstairs front desk had a paper cutter available. The nice lady at the front desk said I just needed to bring my ID. So now I'm going to get my ID from my room, show it to her, and then use the paper cutter like way late at night. <laughs> oh, we're doing this. <laughs> We got it. We got it. We're doing this. We gotta cut the rest of these. If this was a phone call, they would have honestly probably called like security. They probably would have called security. They would have looked up the room number and been like, these guys need to go. What? Yes, it's literally perfect right there. So I, this is what I did. I just lined it up perfectly with that crosshair right there and boom, just cut it right away. All right, what if we You do son of, don't you, don't this? stop. What are you doing? So we've got 11 cards left to sleeve. And Stephen, how many sleeves? We have 12 sleeves left because, well, maybe maybe some of these are salvageable. I don't know. I don't know, but it looks like uh, Stephen, aka Abdullah the Butcher, here has been absolutely slaughtering these sleeves. This one might be. That's gonna get deck checked right there. Oh, well, we'll just set it aside. Maybe that one's okay. All right, I, I can make no more errors. I can make no more errors. Pressure's on. And when the pressure was on, I delivered. I didn't mess up another one for the first time in a minute, and we finished this thing. We gotta flatten it, we gotta flatten it out. Let's clear all of our uh, chaff off here. The uh, things that came and went. This is shuffling a six-sleeved blitz deck of 40 cards. 
that's the that's the feel, the shuffle feel of a of a blitz deck. Sleep six times. So these are protected against scratches, dents, dings, nuclear winter. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. And you thought that the KFC double down was absurd. <laughs> it's it's more a wad of plastic than it is just about anything else. The next moment of truth is does this fit into the Tolarian Community College deck box? Because he said you can fit a blitz deck in this thing. So, I mean, this is literally the deck that I played against him in his video. And the answer, yeah. Apparently six sleeves can fit in there and you can fit another deck box with another blitz deck. Look, I have two blitz decks. You single-handedly legitimized uh, six tuple sleeving purely off the fact that they fit in that deck box, which by the way, should just absolutely rocket ship the sales of those deck boxes now. Yeah, you should buy all these deck boxes because apparently you can six sleeve your deck and uh, still fit it in there. So after a day of commentating some great games of Flesh and Blood with Flake, it was time to show off the deck and see if we could get it deck checked. Would it pass? We were about to find out. Hey Peter, I have a blitz deck to show you. Pretty? Yeah. I think so. Maybe a redeemed? Yeah, just the normal one. Yes. Here's my blitz deck. There it is. Your blitz deck? Yeah, that's my blitz deck. What do you think? Wow. Dead. What do you think about four, that blitz? Four deck? sleeves? Oh no. I think you could play this in the pool. How many sleeves do you have? That's the question. What do you think? Is that quad sleeve? Big sleeve. No. Like dragon More shield, you got One, I'm two, thinking five. Three, four, five. There's six. There's there's six sleeves on there. What? There's six there's sleeves six on every card. Sleeves. Talk about protection. That's these right. these cards you, can survive no, reentry. I want to watch you just like hold your hand like this, like just <laughs> bend them How all. How did you even like... find these? <laughs> like, where? What brands are you using? The <laughs> shuffle feel. Yeah, what about those? That feels nice. It feels surprising. When I can get the cards gripped, they feel really nice. <laughs> You're gonna create a whole new like judge, wow. so like smooth. judge session. Well, on here's the thing. How to deck check six deep sleeves. That's the thing, I need to find a judge and have them deck check this. We're gonna, we're gonna do this, Flake. We're gonna trick this judge, come on. Let me find him. need a judge. Peter, where's the judge? Uh, where's the judge for a deck check? We need a deck check right now. John, we need, we need a deck check. We need a deck check. Can you check the deck? What a, what a, what a all together clean table with no crumbs on it whatsoever. Can okay. I do it on the cookie crumbs? All right, fine, whatever. Perfect. Okay. Stop stealing the, stop, not putting that in the video. All right. Um, I have a blitz deck here and I need you. I'm really scared. This feels like a trap. This feels like entrapment. Here's my blitz deck. Can I play this and register this in a blitz tournament? How many? How many sleeves are on this? The answer is yes. Can I? Is that legal? I mean, for tournament play, you'd need to change some of these sleeves because I can see they're all marked up. They all have like, the, you, there's like oil stains on them and scratches. No. Look what? at this one. There's it's like, fine. It's look fine. At that. There's it's like fine. sweat on it. It's is. like sweat stain. I, this is a ding. Don't, don't, it literally don't, has don't, like. Don't film this part. Don't you film. literally, you literally pressed your thumb into it. It looks like. Like, what did you do on that one? That was the one I sweat on. No, you can't play this guy. Are you... Until you... Until you re-sleeve it. You re-sleeve it, you can play it. If I lose that top layer... Take the top layer off and let's see. Okay, is that better though? It's better, but there's still markings all over it. Like, how many... Are no, they... stop taking... I don't want to do this again. There, there. At this layer, this it, it layer? looks fine. How many is this? I don't know. <gasps> Four. Oh my god. Four is the answer. I can do four sleeves and well, still... I'm going to pull pass. There's four sleeves in that. I can pass it. Well, there were six before. Well, we didn't get six. We got to make some changes to the formula. He didn't even check the tops, which is the, the part I was most worried about. What did you do? Look how... Look, the tops are great. No issues whatsoever. These are all messed up too. This was a trap. <laughs> you didn't look at the tops. That is actually a pretty cut, serious cut, infraction. Cut, quick, cut. My friend, we almost had it. 
No, we didn't. We never really <laughs> almost had it. Ever since we had to go and like beg the the head front desk for a uh, cutting board. Yeah, a uh, cutting board, a guillotine for paper. Might have almost had it. We oh, were we very were, close. Yeah, we were no, very we weren't close, close at all. <laughs> With stuff like ding scratches, grease. Close. We <laughs> were like, very close. It was almost there. <laughs>